All right, folks, what is up? This is One Big Bug. I am coming at you, Euro Truck Simulator 2. We're continuing our, well, so far, longest run. We only have a little over 400 kilometers left to go, so this is probably going to be a little bit of a short video. Um, one thing I want to touch on, there has been a new release of um, Truck Sim Map. So the next episode should be on 1.15, the newest version of uh, Euro Truck because the, the, I don't update it now because if I did it would just cancel my run and I can't afford to lose the reward on this run at all I just can't so after this run is complete um, we will not be starting in the city that we drop off of. we'll be starting back at our home garage because when I delete the old files and put in the new files it's going to detect the files have changed and it's going to automatically relocate us back to our home garage for safety even though we don't have a run you know the game doesn't know the difference so that's what's gonna happen but that's not a huge deal as long as we complete this run then we'll just start from home base again so that's probably what's gonna end up happening we will finally be up to 1.15 and we'll have the updated um, truck sim. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I'm a little sniffy today for some reason. All right. I believe we have our brake on. Now again, some people, especially people that have been uh, newly subscribing to me, wonder maybe what I use uh, to play this game. I do not use a keyboard, obviously. Um, what I do use is a <coughs> Logitech F310 uh, PC controller. Now, I really like this controller because Let's just get around this corner before I finish. I really like this controller because it's very, very, very similar to a PlayStation controller in terms of look and feel. Um, it's a little um, shorter in length and it's a little wider in grip. So it took me a little bit to get used to that. And on top of that... Um, on top of that, um, the triggers down bottom, the L2 and R2 buttons, are very heavily springed. So it took me a little while to get used to that being, um, you know, finger strength basically in dealing with that. Uh, my uh, index fingers would get tired fairly quickly. So it's not the same as a PS4, and in truth, getting a PS4 controller to work on a PC is not difficult now. When I bought this, it was. I really didn't want to do an Xbox controller, you know, <clears throat> n nothing f against the Xbox controller personally. It's just, I've always owned PlayStations when I have owned consoles. I've owned a PS1, um, let me uh, not accelerate like that. I've owned a PS1, PS2, and PS3. If I ever get the chance, I'll own a PS4. Um, that's just how I am. I, I support Sony and the, and the PlayStation over Xbox and over um, Nintendo. Not that they're bad consoles. I think they're great consoles. It's just a personal choice that I make. I you know if I could afford all three, I would. But I have to choose one because I can't afford all three. So I choose PlayStation. And, uh, although, like, I don't have one right now, but that's fine. And, uh, I was looking for a controller that was similar to the PlayStation controller. And this controller, the Logitech F310, is amazing. It f it's like a PlayStation controller in terms of feel and looks and um, it plugs in and reads 
like an Xbox controller, which most PCs recognize right away. It's pretty amazing. Um, it even has the X, A, B, and Y labeled, and it has them in the places where the corresponding triangle, square, X, and circle would be. So when a prompt flashes on screen, even if even in your very first game, if a prompt flashes on screen to push this button, if you're used to the PlayStation controller, you're immediately going to go to the proper spot to push the button. Even though it's going to say uh, push A to continue, in Xbox that would be push X uh, in most cases. And the A button is where the Xbox, uh, where the PlayStation X button would be. So it becomes very, very natural to, to push the buttons. The only reason I ever miss a button is because I'm too slow to react. Um, no joke. Uh, we are on cruise control right now. I actually did not go over my speed limit for once. So that's really cool. I, I, I really like it. And the best part about this controller is, is I actually bought it used for about 12 bucks. And I've had it for over a year. I think maybe even over two years now. And it still works phenomenally. You know, I was a Logitech supporter for longer longest time. I decided to try and go with Razer products, and I just didn't like them as much. They're good, but I don't know. Maybe because I had used Logitech for so long, or maybe because um, you know, just it synergizes with me personally better. Um, I slowly went back to Logitech products. I changed my Razer mouse, uh, which was a Razer Death Adder. I believe is what it's called, uh, to a Logitech uh, mouse. I forget exactly what it was. I think it's a 560. Um, my keyboard, I had the um, Deathstalker, I believe it's called the Deathstalker Ultimate, their newest keyboard with touch screen and all that. And, I don't know, they put these little chiclet keys on it, and it's not like it didn't feel right. Um, I just didn't feel comfortable with it. I didn't utilize the keyboard as much as I could have. So I actually took that off and I went back to my old Logitech um, G15 keyboard, which I bought used off eBay for $15 four years ago. Something of that nature. Still works perfect today. Even the readout still works. You know, the, 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 Chris, the quartz screen or whatever it is. Uh, on top still works perfectly today. Uh, the only thing I have left of my Razer is my headphones. I have Razer Megalodon headphones. Uh, they're still really good. I, I want to get new ear cuffs for them if I decide to keep using them. Um, after I hopefully in February can get my card, uh, do an SLI for my video cards, um, I'm going to look into a new set of Logitech headphones. And not as good as the Megalodons in terms of price. These are like 200 something dollars. Uh, but something up there. You know, something with good volume, good microphone quality is really what I'm aiming for. Um, and I'm going to be full Logitech. Um, you know, I, I just... I like Logitech, you know. My wife has... Uh, she likes simple, basic uh, stuff. She doesn't like, you know, big and flat. She doesn't mind it. She gets it, but um, she just likes, you know, the more simple stuff. So she has a um, keyboard mouse setup, Logitech. That costs about twenty-five bucks, including tax. Works beautifully. You know, she has a pair of Logitech headphones that like costs like twenty dollars. Works beautifully. You know, I've I am a firm supporter of Logitech. No, they're not. Uh, <laughs> I realize what this sounds like as I'm saying it. Hello, Spain. This is a border crossing area right here, so we're well into our journey, and hopefully, we'll see less uh, toll booths. But the no Logitech is not sponsoring me right now. I don't get anything special for saying this. It's just what I'm talking about. Just my ramblings. 
and I like Logitech. I'm a full supporter of them now. Just like I'm a full supporter of PlayStation. There's nothing wrong with the Xbox or the Nintendo. I think they're both great consoles with great games. It's just if I have to choose, then I'm going to choose PlayStation. It's pretty simple. So, I got my last Christmas gift today. It came uh, a little late. Not by much. Um, it's a beautiful olive and gray and like silver uh, hoodie jacket. Um, buttoned down in the front. And it actually fits perfectly. And it's, again, my mother-in-law, like she had done last year when she bought me a new hat, has pretty much nailed the gift to a T. Because for me to stay warm when it gets really cold here, yep, there's the loan installment, that, and that hurts. That hurts quite a lot. But, um, well, I'm watching my speed, yeah, it's when I hit 110 again. Um, but she pretty much nailed it last year by buying me uh, a hat, black hat with a nice green uh, Hawaiian print band on it, uh, which was very, very similar to my white hat uh, with a blue Hawaiian print band on it. Uh, and it was beautiful. I loved it. I've been wearing it almost every time that I go out since I received it way back when. I want to be over in this lane just in case. Because it looks like, yeah, I'm going up and around the sharp bend. So I'd rather just be behind this truck for now. Despite the fact it's going to, like, really hurt my momentum. Um, and this year she definitely nailed it with the jacket. I love, I absolutely love it. Um... To stay warm at night, I'd have to put on a sweatshirt that I have, and then I have kind of I, I I have some of these goofy hats, and I'd actually have a lot more if I had somewhere to put them. But that's why I stopped buying them. Is I don't have room to display them; they just kind of get put away. Um, with that being neither here nor there, one of them is this big warm panda uh, hat. It's got panda ears, and you know it's got these long things that drape down where you put your hands into. Um, I'd have to put that on to keep my head warm, or another similar hat like that. And they're warm, yes, but I wouldn't call them the most practical when playing a game. So now I have this jacket that I can throw on, be warm, and it has a hood on it. I can put the hood up to help keep my head warm, and I won't have like little fuzzy fur pieces falling into my face or something of that nature um, and I really truly like I said love it and I know what some of you are thinking right now uh, you know bugger you live in Hawaii what do you mean cold okay acclimation definitely acclimation I've been living in Hawaii uh, 15 years almost around 15 you know, getting close to 15 years um, and I live 3,000-ish feet in elevation. The temperature can drop under 50 here. It has actually gotten cold enough several times to develop frost on the ground. Um, and for you guys, may kind of laugh at that. Um, you know, sub-zero temperatures, New England, uh, and all that. Believe me, I know. I know. I lived in Massachusetts, New Hampshire for a very large portion of my life. I was a polar bear. I was the nut job that you'd see outside in jeans and a t-shirt shoveling his yard, uh, you know, with a pair of uh, gloves on only. You know, I'd go out and get the mail in shorts and a t-shirt while barefoot. You know, I love the cold. Um, but being in Hawaii for so long, within the first year, I had started acclimating to the weather here. Which means, 
um, anything below, I'd say, about 65 degrees starts to feel a little chilly. And so when it gets down to 50, you know, into the 50s, and even below 50, which does happen where I am, that's pretty damn cold to me. When you're used to it being 70 degrees, 80 degrees, a 30 to 40, what is it, 80 down to 50, yeah, 30, uh, and more, 35 degree temperature drop, is cold. So, yeah, I still, you know, I actually have use for some heavier clothing still. I don't have a big winter jacket. Um, you know, I, I don't have scarves and a, and a hat and all that, but it still tends to feel cold to me at times, so. I definitely enjoy having some heavier clothing, but when I first got here, whew, it wasn't easy being uh, 80 degrees all the time or more you know, up in the 90s and then the nights, only getting down to 60. It was like, oh, it's warm. It's comfortable. I don't know why you guys are cold. Yeah, well, now I know why. Just took a few years. Uh, I really, really, really got to clean my... I still haven't. I got to do it uh, probably Sunday. I got to clean my computer finally. It'll help smooth out some of these loading bumps uh, that I see every so often. I might have a little something in January. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, something I read somewhere. Uh, that may happen, and if it does, might give me a chance to do something. Not quite what you'd expect in terms of, um, you know, let's say I do a giveaway, what I would give away. I'd rather, like, give away a copy of Euro Truck. But then, if you guys watch me, then a lot of you actually probably have it. Um, because it definitely hasn't been expensive to get lately. Although, that's, even if it goes on sale really cheap, doesn't mean you can always afford it. I know that feeling, too. Um, but, supposedly, the creator of the game Nuclear Throne, which I did a little bit of on my channel and talked up a little bit about, and has actually come a very long way since then, uh, on January 1st, the creator is going to give an extra copy to everyone who owns Nuclear Throne, a free copy, uh, supposedly. So if that happens, I would actually like to give that copy away, because I don't personally know anyone who would enjoy that game uh, other than me. So... I to slow down. I uh, definitely don't want to incur a uh, speeding ticket at this point. I really, really don't want to incur a speeding ticket at this point. Can you make room, please? Someone? We are already almost at our destination. Which is pretty awesome, honestly. Oh, no. Yeah, look at that. That truck didn't even go. <sighs> Sometimes I really, really, really... <laughs> look! Look! Sometimes the AI in this game... Oh, it's so frustrating. 
Well, by the time he makes that corner, it's time for us to go already. Oh. Well, you know what? My front wheels are over the stops. Over the stop. Look, look! Even the AI gets frustrated with itself. Look, you get cars pulling out, going around. But I had my front wheels out over the stop line, which means I got to go, so it wasn't all that bad. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that right now, because I will butcher the hell out of it. Whoa! Thank you there, uh, city name. I almost didn't see that light because of you. Much appreciated. <sighs> Come on, light. The trick with the game is once you see the yellow light, you can actually hit the accelerator. Because <laughs> by the time you actually get up any worthy momentum, um, the light will have already gone green. Oh, come on. I'm even coasting. Come on. I don't believe this. It's going to make me come to almost a full stop. Could you go a little slower, dude? Oh, no. Not this. Please, anything but this. This is the single worst parking in this game, period. Uh, uh, careful the trailer! Whew. I'm going to try something really stupid. work. <laughs> that, that car, though. I don't know where the cars are behind me. Holy crap! I did it in the first try! Wow. I still didn't level up even after all of that. Uh, oh, I may have to... I may have to dump the hard economy mod just to get some levels under me because I'm going to end up going in the negative at this point. I think this guy made the hard economy mod a little too hard because I can't make enough money to stay ahead of my loan. And that's really starting to hurt. So, I'm not going to bother resting because this thing's going to kick me back to my garage when I install the new game. And I'm not going to bother looking at uh, loads right now. Well, let's see what we could have taken. Let's see what we most likely would have taken had we um, gone from here. Oh, mind you, this is without resting. So, uh, wheat? Oh, no. <laughs> That's not from here. From here. 
uh, gondola all the way up uh, into Manchester. Paint. That would have been a decent trip over to Hamburg. Another gondola, but at this point, yeah, I think you're going too far down. That's a thousand difference. So there have been one of these three. I don't know if I would have gone with that gondola because, again, it goes up into England, which I, I just get so confused. And it has a ferry run on it. So that extra thousand euros that you're seeing there is to cover this ferry trip or this train trip, whichever one it is, whether it's a ferry or the train. That's what that's there for. That's what that extra thousand's for. Um, this might not even have been a bad choice because it's high value and it's important delivery, which means more uh, money. Plus, it's 876 per kilometer versus 859, 779. So this might actually not even been a bad idea either. But it really doesn't matter. We can't take any of them because when you next see uh, videos, it's going to be on version 1.15 with the new truck sim map, which is finally out and updated for it. So, join me then, and we'll see what we're going to do next. Until then, there's going to be one big bugger. I'm signing out. I'll see you next time.